Hello, today my video is on Chapter 7, Form 4, KSSN Cellular Respiration. We are going to cover two content standards, 7.1 Production of Energy through Cellular Respiration, 7.2 Aerobic Respiration. The learning standard 7.1.1 justify the necessity of energy in metabolic processes. 7.1.2 identify the main substrate used in energy production. 7.1.3 list the types of cellular respiration that are aerobic respiration, anaerobic respiration, and fermentation. 7.2.1 conceptualize energy production from glucose during aerobic respiration in cells. 7.2.2 Write a word equation for aerobic respiration in cells. In the previous chapter, we have learned about breakdown of larger molecules and also the build up of uh, bigger molecules. The breakdown of larger molecules is known as catabolism, whereas the build up into a uh, larger molecules is known as anabolism. So anabolism uses energy in its process whereas catabolism releases energy so where does the energy come from in the cell so the energy comes from cellular respiration cellular respiration is the oxidation process of organic molecules through several stages to release energy and the main substrate for cellular respiration is glucose so the chemical energy found in the glucose is released to produce the energy that is required by the cell. For human and animals, where does the glucose come from? Okay, the glucose we get it from the carbohydrate in the food that we eat. Example in this photo. Whereas for green plants, the light energy will be trapped by the chlorophyll so that the plant can undergo photosynthesis to produce glucose. Aerobic respiration Aerobic respiration is the breakdown of glucose that involves oxygen, meaning the oxygen must be present in order to produce the energy just now, the chemical energy. So the oxygen is used to oxidize the glucose to produce carbon dioxide water and energy so aerobic respiration process begins with the glycolysis process glycolysis meaning the breakdown of glucose with the help of enzyme so the process occurs in the cytoplasm whereby one molecule of glucose is broken down into two pyruvate molecules The process then continue to occur in the mitochondria. The pyruvate molecules that has been produced from glycolysis process is then oxidized through a series of reactions to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy in mitochondria. So the diagram summarizes what I have just mentioned. Glycolysis whereby glucose is break down into two pyruvate molecules which occur in cytoplasm. Later, this pyruvate molecule is oxidized in mitochondria to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. And most of the energy is used to produce ATP, adenosine triphosphate. ATP formation from ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and phosphate is not a spontaneous process. Energy must be present to make it happen. So, cellular respiration provides the energy in making ATP. Okay, so we look at this one. ATP molecules are produced when a group of non-organic phosphate is added to ADP, adenosine diphosphate. ADP plus phosphate get the energy from cellular respiration to produce ATP, adenosine triphosphate. ATP molecule actually has a weak phosphate link. 
So when the phosphate link on ATP molecules are broken, the energy is released. So this energy release supply to the cells that helps the organism to carry out our daily activities. So to summarize the whole glucose oxidation, okay, we can see this one is a word equation, glucose plus oxygen and the product are carbon dioxide, water and energy. In kilojoule, the energy is 2,898 kilojoule. Now, we look at fermentation. Fermentation is incomplete breakdown of glucose because of limitation of oxygen or there is no oxygen at all. Fermentation is different from aerobic respiration in its metabolic pathway after the glycolysis process. So after glycolysis, the pyruvate molecule that is produced from the glycolysis process, from the uh, breakdown of glucose, okay, the pyruvate will undergo either alcohol fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. Okay, from the diagram, you can see fermentation can be divided into two, either alcohol fermentation or lactic acid fermentation. You want to know more about lactic acid fermentation and alcohol fermentation? Well, subscribe my channel for the, my next video. If you want to do a quiz on this topic, you can click down there on the uh, show more info section. Okay, so see you in my next video. Bye-bye.